when you're wet and you're cold and it's fall and winter season rolling around, that means one thing for hunters, waterfowl season. And if you're in the market for a new waterfowl gun, there's one on the market for 2019 that's a game changer with features that is built especially for waterfowl hunters. And that's the new Beretta A400 Extreme Plus. The X Plus, this is like the other Berettas, a gas operated shotgun. This is the rotating bolt design. And what we get here is what they call the blink system. So as fast as a blink of an eye, as fast as you can pull the trigger on those geese and those ducks coming into your spread, this gun is gonna cycle the shells. It's gonna cycle the two and three quarter, the three inch and the three and a half heavy magnums. So whatever you wanna feed it, it should spit them out, no problem. It comes only in 12 gauge, but even when you're shooting those three and a half inch heavy loads, we've got the kickoff system that we'll look at in a little bit more depth here shortly. We've got the camo finish. This is the real tree. There's mossy oak and cryptic options as well, but this gun is built to go in the field, go in the water, get dirty, get cold with you and still function. We've loaded up so you can see just how fast this functions. And the neat thing is I've got a three and a half inch snow goose in the chamber. I've got a two and three quarters behind it and a three inch after that. So this should run boom, 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 no problems, no adjustments. This gas system should eat them all up. Let's go. And yes, it did. You'll see a slight difference in recoil, but boy, that baby cycles. You can feel like Jerry Michalak on the trigger of the blink gas system on the Beretta. But the point is, no matter what kind of conditions you're in, it's wet, it's cold, it's miserable, there's mud in the gun, there's water in it, that system is still running. The features, like we talked about, are built for waterfall hunters. So what that means is a lot of times we're in waders, we're in the water, we're freezing, our hands are cold, we're wearing gloves. So what we need are larger controls. So what you'll see here is a greatly extended bolt handle, that charging handle. We can hit this here, open our action. Then you'll see when you want to close it, this large release here on the right side, very easy to hit, just like that. Doesn't matter if you have big bulky gloves on, you've got plenty of room there inside that trigger guard. And what you also have is a real large safety. The interesting thing to note here is, usually when you see these cross bolt safeties, they're at the rear of the trigger. This one's sitting at the front. So it's just something to get used to and to be aware of, but real easy to actuate there. We like that, very nice. And if you wanna use your waterfowl gun, maybe use it to double as a turkey gun. What you'll see on the top of the receiver here is it's already drilled and tapped. So you can put a rail on there, put a red dot on or a reflex sight. If you want to use this as a turkey gun, it's going to be real quick to come up and be on target for you. In addition to those oversized controls, what else we have that water followers will love, and you really have to feel this to appreciate it, it's basically a rubberized grip panel that almost has a touch of softness to it, and it's called the aqua grip here. But you can see, no matter if my hands are wet and slick or this gun's in the water, I've got a good grip on that. And you have that same material here again at the pistol grip, so that gives you a nice softness when you're holding on to the, to the gun. Looking back here, when we're talking shooting those heavy waterfall loads, shooting a three and a half inch shell out of a single shot or a pump is not a fun experience, especially not when you're doing high volume shooting. But this kickoff system that Beretta uses is awesome for eating up that recoil. If you're not familiar with the kickoff, what you basically have is a hydraulic system in here that's gonna eat up some of the recoil of that bolt as it keeps slamming backward. So that's not gonna hit you in the face as hard or in the shoulder as it would without it. And also on this new Extreme Plus, you've got basically a rubberized panel right here, and that's gonna pick up some of that recoil as well. And so will this nice soft pad at the buttstock. If it doesn't fit you quite right, maybe you don't like the cast off, they give you additional shims so you can fit this gun to yourself. When you throw this up, you wanna be right there on that raised rib, ready to make your shot on those birds. Sounds like waterfall season to me. It's fast, it's light recoiling, I like it. I've opted for the 28, that's a nice all around length for me. It comes up well, it swings well, and it's one that I can use just as well on ducks or geese as I can on the sporting clays course. And that's the other nice thing about the Extreme Plus. Yes, it's made for water fowlers, but when you shoot it and you feel just how light that recoil is and how easily this thing cycles and functions, you're gonna wanna take it out and shoot sporting clays or shoot trap 
or bust some other targets with it. And to that end, high volume shooters of clays also appreciate the gun because it's well balanced, it's fairly light. We're about eight pounds, eight and a little change when we're fully loaded with the shells. But that kickoff system, the soft rubber pad, it just makes shooting a joy even with the largest 12 gauge shells. The barrel itself is what Beretta calls steelium. They have quite an alloy process that goes into it. It's considered to be a quality almost as nice as the rifle barrels. And to that end, just like a rifle bolt, you've got a rotating bolt on a shotgun. So that's a really interesting part of the design there. It's made to shoot and to perform in rough weather conditions, which is exactly what waterfowlers want. What else we want is good choke tubes. And to that end, they ship five of these black edition threaded interchangeable extended choke tubes so pretty much every one of the, the sizes that you want, your full mod, improved cylinders. We've got this nice tall rib here on our barrel with a brass mid bead and then a nice small red fiber optic front sight. So it's not one of the big bulky ones that's gonna cover up your targets, but it's still gonna pick up that light and really glow when you get on those birds. We'll come all the way back with a drilled and tapped receiver. You can line this gun up nicely with a shim so that it fits you well. Love those grip panels. And I also like this real tree timber pattern that we have on the gun. It's dark enough to blend in with different types of terrain. You may be wet and you may be cold while you're waiting for those ducks or geese to come in. But one thing you don't have to do is wonder if your gun is going to perform when that moment comes. We've had this gun in the water. It's darn near freezing. We've cycled everything from two and three quarter shells on up to the heaviest three and a half inch snow goose loads moving at 1550. And this thing hasn't missed a beat. You don't have to adjust anything when you switch shells. This blink gas system is indeed as fast as the blink of an eye. As fast as you can pull the trigger, it's going to put your shots on target. We like this gun. If you're a hardcore water follower, you want to do some high volume clay shooting, check out this Extreme Plus. The MSRP is $1,900. That sounds fairly steep, but you're already seeing them listed closer to the 1750 range if you do some shopping online. Check out that guns.com vault because we have a lot of guns listed there for sale, new and used, but the Extreme Plus is a great option for you hunters. Head on over to guns.com for the full write-up. Give us a like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure that you can join us on our next foray into the field.